I'm Hudson from Purple Platypus, and today on 30 on 3D, we're going over how to add full color to your dental models quickly and easily in GrabCAD print. Stratasys in the GrabCAD software gives us a great opportunity to add color from different libraries. So right here, what we're gonna do is add in teeth and gum assembly of a lower denture. So import it there. It's gonna bring it in as two separate bodies. It's gonna identify the teeth and the base. So right here, we have a pretty basic denture. It imports and automatically assumes a color, but we have the opportunity to change this. On the bottom right, you can see a quick library of different shades. These shades here include veins and all the coloring you need for accurate and clean models. Yeah. So right in here, we're gonna add a light pink and we're gonna look at the different teeth shades as well. We can play with an A1. Please note that the colors here are kind of an estimation. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in an upper denture as well. And so on the tray itself, you can mix different colors, different shades in one print. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just play with the orientation here and flip it around so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so right in here, let's go with a little bit of a, a lighter purple. Let's suppose that pink. And so loading this in as well, you're gonna see the different veins come in and the different texture. This is done 100% in the software. There are options in three shape to export with the colors already added. Um, we're working on development with ExoCAD to have a similar feature very soon. But in the meantime, you can change the color in GrabCAD and you have the whole library there. So right here, you have a very white bleach shade. And again, so these two dentures would go on the same print at the same time. So now we have them colored and we want to actually print them. What do we do? Let's go ahead and have the software automatically arrange them. And once we get them arranged, we are ready to print. It's honestly that simple. But how this tray is oriented, we can do a lot more and it won't take very much time at all. So let's go ahead and look at duplicating just a couple sets here. Um, this is to show if you're doing multiple cases, of course, it wouldn't make sense to print multiple dentures unless you're doing multiple dentures for a customer, which is an option. You could have three different cases on one print. Okay, so let's go ahead and add more to this big tray that we have. So I think right now I'm gonna go for 26 total pieces. You see here we have a bunch of other pieces off to the side and we're gonna go ahead and arrange them. Software does a really intuitive job of doing this. Again, these are all the same cases duplicated, but in a real world scenario, you'd have all your different cases lined up on the printer. You can play with the different teeth shades. You can change the gingiva color all on one print. Okay, so here's a hypothetical example. Right now we have the 13 cases on there. There's plenty of extra space on. We could probably fit another five on there easily. Shown here, you could individually customize each part, play with the gingiva shade color, the teeth color, easily and quickly. So right now we're gonna estimate it, see how long the software says this will take. Okay, so right now, if we look, the total print time is gonna be 10 hours, 56 minutes. It's gonna use about 730 grams of material and support. And the beauty of the software is we can get as complicated as we want and with 3D printing, complexity is free. So now I'm gonna bring in a different case. This time each individual tooth is called out. So in your CAD program, you can export it as individual teeth, as a set of teeth. You can get as detailed as you want to. So here you see the base. I'm gonna select. On the left, you can see all the different teeth are called out individually. For here, I'm gonna change the gingiva color to a light pink. And so it's gonna insert everything again. It's gonna put the veins, the texture, everything we're looking for for an accurate model or denture. It creates all that texture in the software. 
Okay, so now we have it. Now we're going to look at different callouts of different teeth. So I'm going to select the front four. And I'm going to go for uh, something a little bit lighter here. A nice bleach shade here. And to make it look good, do the next three. Maybe an A1. Mm. Yeah, looks good. And so here you can have each different tooth a different option if you wanted to. So we can accurately make these dentures as aesthetically pleasing for the customer. Thank you so much for watching. It really is that easy. Any questions, give me a call, text, or email. Look forward to talking.